Greetings everybody! Clark here from Cali Paddler as part of the CP Safety Series. Today I'm going to introduce one of the smallest items you'll need to bring and a very, very helpful thing to have. Doesn't weigh anything. It can clip onto your clothing. It can be held by a string or a lanyard. You could clip it onto your vessel or yourself or both. Quite quickly, I'll just tell you. Safety whistle! This thing can be way louder than my voice can ever be, especially on a windy day. It also has a tone to it that people just immediately perk up. So boats nearby, they might hear it yelling or something and think it's just a party boat. Uh, they hear this and they're gonna be on a little different level of alert. Safety whistles are light. This way is seriously like nothing. It's tiny. This is actually on the bigger side of safety whistles too. Um, there, this one has a little uh, space you'll see to tie a string, or it can clip onto your clothing. Um, I like to put one of these on my canoe. So um, I also like to carry one on me if I'm really gonna be in conditions where I might get separated from my canoe. So it's small enough that I can just toss it in my pocket. I'll even keep it in my dry bag with my cell phone maybe, or um, on the cargo straps of my sup or my um, prone board. Um, it, it, anywhere you can find a place for it, it'll fit and it won't impede your speed. It won't make you uncomfortable. And it's really great to have just in those situations where you need to reach somebody really loudly that's really far away and your voice is not doing the trick. Um, I'm proud to say that the uh, racing series up in Northern California actually requires these for their um, single craft series that if you don't have this, uh, they'll make you buy one from them. So just get one ahead of time and have a safety whistle. Can't hurt to have it, right? Let people know where you're at if you need them. Take care.